Hey guys, and welcome to a brand new progress video. Uh, I've made a load of progress since the last video, and uh, I've got quite a few things to say. So, if you look at my stats from the last time, I've got a lot of improvements. I've made a lot of improvements since my last one, which was I think it was like Sunday I made that video. Um, I've also done a load of quests. You also get to see that I've got 196 quest points. Done a ton of quests. Um, also, there's going to be a slight change to format of how everything's going to work with these videos. What I'm planning to do is that I'm just going to have a stat um, update thing and show you all of the stats which I've got up, level by level. Because OS Buddy does this really nice thing that if you get a level or something like that, it will take a screenshot of it. So anything important like clue scrolls opening, um, level up, or quest points or doing a quest it will take a picture of it so I've got a load of those which I want to show which will be in a little while um, but just a few things which are gonna go over the screen probably now is that I have been killing some black knights uh, so that means I can get the uh, achievement diary um, the I think it's part of the Falador achievement diary where you have to kill like around about 1200 1300 black knights uh, in order to get the White Knight two-handed sword from some guy. Um, so I've started that, and you can see from the pictures that I got Page and Peon. Oh, I think it's Peon and Page. I can't remember which way around it is. It'll be in the order which uh, progresses uh, in the video. Also, I've got some uh, Clue Scroll awards. I've done a couple of Clue Scrolls, and from Big Mo. I got did an easy, which was a two-step clue, and the rewards weren't that great. And a medium clue, which I tried to not use any guides for it, um, except for the very last one, which was a map. Uh, I guessed where the area was, but I just wanted to make sure, so I checked online, and I was right. So I got some runes and a power of um, a power amulet, which wasn't that great, but. Yeah, I'm going to let you have a look at the uh, small reel which is going to go past, which is going to show all my levels and the uh, quests. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, just a few things that I have to say about uh, progress, which is left to me. Progress, which I am still to make on the account. So, after all those quests, I've got 23 left. Um, of those, I can do nine of them currently with my skills. Um, I can't do some of them because of quests, but I could do nine of them if you were to just look at my skills. Um, I've been doing quite a few farming runs as well. You like you noticed that I in the clip especially on the farming part 
uh, I've been doing farming runs and been doing toe flax now. If you have, if you're not doing farming runs, I recommend you do that in terms of trying to get money because, like, every basically it's 90 minutes where you don't really do much. Like, you do something else and it automatically makes you like about 50k, something like that. Like, it's a free 50k every hour and a half. Um, as well as um, some other thing which I've been doing to make money is um, getting willow branches from willow trees. So you have to grow your own trees in the farming patch and then you use your secateurs on the tree and you get br six branches every half an hour. So you go around all the tree patches, you get 30... Um, willow branches and they sell for about 1.3k they've been crashing a little bit now however they you don't get any experience from it but it's a free it is pretty much every half an hour you get 40k just from doing nothing so like in an hour and a half you've already made a 100k something like that so i recommend you do that um just look at willow trees on the osrs um guide the uh, wiki so I'll put a link in the description below about that as well um, got some updates and my current stats are in the Google Doc which you can see in the bit below I've updated it so that it not only has it have not only does it have the comparer between my RS3 stats and my uh, old school RuneScape stats um, it also has a quest list so it says what quests I still need to do and it has um, stats on my hub run, so I will be putting all my hub runs on there. And it's quite interesting data, it's not fantastic or amazing. But, yeah, I, I, I find it interesting. Like, the yield which you get, or at least I'm getting. So, I will hope to see you in the next one. Um, hope you enjoyed, and I will be making those gains later. Okay, bye guys.